Hello everybody, welcome to Compi126 Lab 1. Today's video will be going over setting up Bitbucket for this class. So let's take a look at what your Bitbucket account should look like right now. I mean, it could have some other stuff in it, but it most likely looks like this, where it is just a dashboard, nothing in it, no repository. First thing we need to do to set up your Bitbucket for this class is we need to come here, we need to click, click the plus sign, and we need to create a new team. So you'll be greeted with a page like this. So for your team name, you need to name it with the following naming scheme. We want your last name, comma, your first name, and the lab section that you're in. So either Tuesday or Thursday, all right? And then click done. So we've created a new team. It's got this user, Narelle, comma, Alex, Thursday. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new repository. Like I was saying from the last video lecture, um, we have repositories on our computer, and we have repositories up in the cloud. So in order for us to put our code into Bitbucket, we have to create a repository for that. So let's create our first repository, and we're gonna be greeted with this. So we have our, our owner, which is the name of this group, this team that we created, and then our project name. So you're gonna to wanna to name this project Labs, uh, Norel Labs, or last name Labs. And the repository name will be labs. So make sure you have your last name and then labs. All right, and then this is gonna be a private repository. And you need to make sure you select Git as your version control system, since that's the system we'll be using in the class. If you select Mercurial, this won't work at all. Okay, so let's hit create repository. So now we have this page. We are located in uh, the Norel Alex Thursday team in the Norel Labs project in the Labs repository. So we've got this empty repository with no code in it, and we want to take the code from our uh, Labs project for the tests that we wrote, or just the tests in general. And we want to put this up into the cloud. So we want to put this on Bitbucket. So we're going to come down here, we're going to click, I have an existing project on Bitbucket. I have an existing project. And you're going to copy this link right here on line one of step two. You're going to copy that. You're going to take it over here to Git, or to, to CLAN. We're going to click VCS, Git, Remotes. So VCS, Git, remotes. And the first thing we're going to do is when we first pulled this repository down from uh, the Compi126 labs, um, that was set as the origin for our code. So when for remotes, uh, normally you have like the origin of where all your code is and then where you're sending your code to. And then uh, that's the main remote repository and then you can have secondary repositories. In this case, we don't want the Compi126 Labs uh, repository, the one that you're going to be getting your code from. We don't want that to be your main repository because you're not able to send stuff up to that, that repository. So what we're going to do first, we're going to edit this uh, origin and we're going to rename that to Labs. So we're going to come down here, we're going to hit this green pencil. We're going to name this now Labs. And we hit OK. That's all it's going to do is going to rename that. So now we're going to hit the plus button. We're going to take that URL that will be copied from the Bitbucket website. And we're going to paste it here into the define remote. We're going to hit OK. It's going to check to see if that remote works. And it does work. And now that created that as the origin. So now when we say push, it'll default to setting the code to the origin remote location before it'll try to send it to the lab's location. 
So let's hit OK. So we've now defined a remote. So now Sea Lion and Git, they both know that we have two remote locations that we're going to be dealing with in this project. We're going to be dealing with the Comfy 126 Labs uh, repository, which is where you'll be getting your uh, lab code from. And then you, you have your team project folder thing set up. And that's where you're going to be sending your code to. All right. So before we leave this Norel Alex Thursday thing, uh, we do need to actually, we'll, we'll do that a little, a little bit later. First thing we'll do over here in C line, we're going to go to VCS, we're going to go to Git, and we're going to do a push. We are now going to push all this code that is on our computer, and we're going to push it to origin. And all these commits are going to get sent to a repository that we just created. So we're going to push that. Awesome. So if we want to see if it worked, we can refresh this repository. And we'll see we now have all of these commits that we just committed to it. And we have, we can actually go through and look at all of our source files as well. So just like we had in our structure, we can see all the files, we can see what's in them. Yep, so it is all now in our repository we just created. So now what we also need to do, uh, while, while we're still over here in Bitbucket, we need to come back to our team. We can click on that from up here in this top selection. And we need to come here to Members. We need to click Manage Team. And here's where we need to add the Compi 126 uh, user. So we need to click add member. And we're going to add the Compi 126 spring18 at gmail.com as of the email. And we're going to add that to the administrators group. So Compi 126 s18 at gmail.com. And we're going to add that to the administrators group. And click add. And now we have multiple members. So uh, with that, I'll actually be able to see that repository that I just created. So I'm logged into the Compi 126 uh, Bitbucket account right now. And I'm able to see now that I was invited to that laboratory. That makes sense. So now I'm able to see your code and we're able to see your code, but nobody else is able to see your code other than the, the Compi 126 user. So you added us um, and that's, that's good. That's made, to, uh, that's done. So now let's do some stuff with uh, just changing some stuff and making some commits just so everybody makes sure that everybody can do the commits and make sure it all works. Let's come down here. Let's just change some stuff in here and let's commit it. We're just going to do a basic expect not equals to zero string three dot get next integer. Both of these should pass. Let's try to run them just to make sure. So we, we always want to send up working code, at least code that I can compile to our Bitbucket. All right, so all tests pass. So we're going to make a commit. We're going to commit. Added a couple test cases as our commit message. We're going to commit that. So this is showing you this code analysis is actually it's going through your code and finding all the places that it thinks that you had issues. Um, 
you can decide to change them or not, but if they're compiled and ran, then you probably don't need to deal with it at this point in time. So we're just going to commit. We're not really going to look at those issues. Some of it is it's, it's looking for this test fixture. Um, we can actually see what the issue is. Constructor does not initialize these fields. Yeah. All right. So now let's push that code that we just committed up to our repository. So we can come, we can go back to our repository by clicking here on the Bitbucket icon. It'll take us to our dashboard and then we can click over here and open up our dashboard or open up that repository we just created with the labs in it. So we can see our commit from about four minutes ago that we made. So now let's push that commit we just made. So git push. That's going to pop up with this. Make sure you select where you're going to be sending it to. So you're going to want to send it to origin master. So that's the origin repository or the origin remote location and the master branch. And we'll talk about branches later uh, in the semester. So we're going to push this single commit we did, which was added a couple test cases. And we're going to hit push. So we can see down here that it push has been successful. And we can come over here to uh, Bitbucket and we can refresh it. And we can see that we just made another commit. And this was our push. And we added a couple test cases. And we can actually come in here and look and see what changed in that commit. We remove those two lines and add two more lines in. All right. I think that about sums it up on how to use Bitbucket and Git in this course. Um, remember, you can ask questions in the Slack channel um, for the lab that you're currently in, or you can send Brian and I a message, or you can do, uh, so yeah, you can, for this first lab, you can message here in the lab channel. You can come over here to tutorial if you want, uh, ask anything about setting up the development environment if you really need to, um, we're more than welcome to help you out. And yeah. Um, so for this first assignment, make sure that you write five different of these test fixtures. So you need to write five test fixtures that all test different portions of this class. Um, it should be fairly simple. You guys should have that up and running, um, in no time. All right.